We are for the most part stumped. According to some reports, we may all be too late to stop the spread of the infection. What people want, what they need, is information on how we deal with people who are already infected. We do know several things. The key factor is something that's been kept under wraps until now because Frankly, anybody without direct contact with the infected would find it almost impossible to believe. The infected are, in fact, the dead returning to life. That's an interesting theory. It's not a theory. These things are the resurrected corpses of our families, our friends, our neighbours, and our inability to accept that is the reason we're losing this fight. I'm sorry, I don't know where you're going. Our, our, our sentimental, emotional attachment to who these people once were is clouding our judgment about what needs to be done. These aren't our loved ones anymore. They're ravenous creatures hell-bent on devouring and destroying us. They have to be stopped. And to date, the only way to do that appears to be to destroy the brain. Either bash in the skull or shoot them in the head. But what you're advocating is murder. What I'm advocating is the survival of our species. We still know so little about what we're dealing with. For example, there are no reports of the infected attacking and feeding on each other. So how do they differentiate? The leading theory at the moment is that it has something to do with scent. That the infected can somehow smell the difference between infected and non-infected blood. But, but even that's just a theory. We need to spend some time in... We need to go.